Okay, so I am here today. I'm gonna do something a little different. It is Sunday, Hunter is sleeping. Hopefully she stays asleep. If not, this video might get really interesting. But I wanted to do a hair tutorial. So a lot of people, I did one of these a long time ago on Facebook, but I don't know if I posted it there or YouTube or where it was, but I figured I would do it again because here I am and I need to do my hair. Um, on the last two weeks, I have been hot mess express. Just haven't done my hair. I've just kind of decided that I was just gonna be, you know, living that quarantine life. But now I was like, okay, I've gotta just do my hair. I need to feel like a person again. So I am going to show you how I curl my hair. Um, I'm gonna try to do it how I do it for a lot of my shows um, and kind of like my go-to look, I guess. And I figured I would start by talking about what I use in my hair. So as of probably six months ago, I started using Monet, Monat, Monat, I don't know how they say it, um, but the shampoo and conditioner. And then um, I also use the blowout cream. So after you get done um, in the shower and before you blow dry your hair, I put um, just a little bit of that, I would say like a quarter size amount. I have a lot of hair. Um, then I use the Rejuva beads here and I do like two squirts of that. I don't know if that's how much you're supposed to use, but yeah, one to three pumps. Um, and then I also use the oil. I am such a product junkie, especially with my hair because I think I put my hair through a lot of stress when I'm constantly blow drying and I'm constantly styling it um, and curling it. So there's a lot of heat happening to my hair. So I feel like I have to use really good products to take care of it. Um, and you can find, you have to find somebody that sells that. Um, I have a couple of friends that do. So if you would like to look into purchasing that, I can send you their names and all their stuff. Um, I use this as my um, leave-in conditioner because my hair gets really tangled. So I have to use something to kind of brush it out. Um, but ultimately what I did is I just kind of blow dry my hair out. I don't worry about getting it super, super smooth because I feel like when it's a little bit frizzy and then I curl it, it adds a little bit more volume. Again, I'm not a hairstylist. I don't claim to be. I just happen to have to do my own hair a lot. So I figured I would just tell you guys how I do it. Um, so first I like to section it off in the back. Um, and so I section it off into two pieces um, on each side. And again, this is my like fast way of doing it. You can separate it even more um, and then it will add even more curls. But for sake of time, this is kind of like my go-to. Um, and then so I just start off by taking these back pieces here. And I am using a one inch Hot Tools curling iron. You can find these on Amazon. I think there's obviously there's better ones and probably better like ceramic ones that are better for your hair. I just have been using this for a very long time and it's always what's worked for me. So I just kind of stick to it. And I curl away from my face. So a lot of times you will see girls that will curl um, the hair into the face and then it kind of gives a weird curl um, for me. Um, just because I think it looks better for me when the curls are going out. It's more Farrah Fawcett. It's more 70s style, which I love. And so, like you'll see, you start up here at the top and then curl and then pull the hair down. Uh, curl again. This video might be pretty long, but again, I'm doing this for all the ladies. Guys, you don't have to watch this. You've probably already clicked off which is fine, and pull down. And don't brush through the curls yet. So you wanna keep curling and let them kind of sit without brushing through them yet. And sometimes the hair will fall out like that. My hair's layered, so sometimes it, it's a little funky. Just pull it back. guys this quarantine life has been really interesting I feel like I was having a lot of fun I was enjoying it the first week because I felt like I had so much to do around the house and um, as a lot of you know my mom had passed away and so I felt like I just had that time to really process a lot and just spend time with you know Hunter and my family um, but now I'm feeling really weird I want to get back to normal life and I know I'm probably not alone in that 
that everyone is feeling that way. It gets really weird when you're so used to having such a busy schedule and you're like go, 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 go all the time and then you now have this happen. It's a very weird, it's a very weird transition for me for sure. And I'm supposed to, I was actually this week supposed to be in Nashville, which is a bummer. I'm supposed to be recording my next album actually this week. Um, but fortunately with the virus, as most of you know, we got to stay home. We got to stay healthy. Sorry, the light is moving. Let me fix this. I just like keep second and I have a lot of hair so if you don't have as much hair as I do you this really won't take very long at all um, and I do have the heat all the way up on my curling iron which again hairstylist will probably yell at me because I know it's bad for your hair but it's what keeps my hair curled longer I feel like the hotter the heat the curl will stay and then I don't have to curl it I will curl my hair today and I probably won't curl it for another two days um, because it will just kind of stay curled um, and this front piece I like to take a bigger piece near the front and I don't like to curl it too high because again I like that swoopy look so I'll just leave that so that one side is curled and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side and I know people know how to do those like things where you fast forward all this part so you don't have to watch me do this but I don't really know how to do that so you're gonna have to just stick with me I also will probably do another Facebook live or Instagram live at some point today and sing some songs for you guys maybe some new ones that I wrote you guys can let me know what you think. I've also gotten very um, confident in just posting videos of me playing with a guitar, which a lot of you know I'm super insecure about it because I'm not a very good guitar player. But I don't have anyone to accompany me. I got very spoiled. I had my incredible mom and then I also had Arnie and now I don't have either of them to help me um, Arnie has to stay put. His incredible wife is a nurse, um, and so they are obviously staying home other than um, he has to go to work, but um, I don't have anybody to play guitar for me, so I'm happy to do it myself, which I'm sorry is a little tragic, but at the same time, I feel like I'm learning. I'm figuring out that it is actually nice to be able to play and sing, and I need to do it more. So that was gonna, my other uh, thing that I've discovered during this time is that I am, when we start playing live again, I want to play on stage. Do you hear that, Arnie? I'm telling everyone now. As if Arnie's watching my hair video. Who knows, maybe. But yeah, this is, and I'm also going to show you how I tease it. Again, probably another thing that hairstylists around the world are going to be like, why are you teaching them all these bad things? But this is how I do it. I don't know. There's probably better ways to do it. And there's probably way better tutorials out there. But I'm bored. So here I am making you one. Chad also is not home currently. And so I'm trying to get this done before he gets home. And he's going to make me clean the house. He's going to be like, we have projects to do. Why are you putting makeup on? You're not going to see anyone. I'll be like, for myself. So I feel fancy. Hunter is so cute too. When I put makeup on and do my hair. She's like, mommy, so beautiful. And I'm like, wow. My two-year-old notices. But I haven't been getting ready. <laughs> see that kind of fell out there at the end, but I'm just gonna leave it for a second and see what happens. Hmm, voila. So now you've got all your hair curled and it looks like this. See? So 
So they're just like big curls and the one inch I people I think think that it's gonna give you this like really tight curl and it it doesn't it gives you kind of a really nice especially for longer hair because it will fall um, and so now what I will do is just kind of run my fingers through it like this um, and then I take this fancy fancy little comb okay so if you can see it's got these like teethy things and then this side I don't actually know what this is for but I'll show you how I use it so what I do is from here let's see if I can turn it up. okay so I take the hair starting like that okay and I just lift it here and I just kind of comb it back just a little bit and then I use that end of the comb to get some more hair and I comb it into the other piece that I just teased. We're gonna tease it really big just for funsies. Comb it again. And teasing, everyone asks like, how do you get your hair so big? Do you have extensions? You see this? And the answer is no, I don't have extensions. I just tease my hair a lot. And then it looks really big. I call this my big Texas hair. And then I'll do the sides. So like that, I just take this like little piece and I just comb it back. And these I don't usually comb into each other unless um, for a show I might. Um, but I'll just take up another little piece here like this. But you don't want to comb. I don't tease too much um, this way because then when the hair goes over it, you don't want to see it ratted. Like that's not cute. Um, so then I kind of brush it down into it. Use my fingers. It's kind of hard to do this without popping in the mirror. Okay. So then I'm going to do this side. Like 12 minutes. I tw my goal is to do this all within 15 minutes. Okay. Comb this up. And this side, because the way I part my hair, I'm only going to tease right there. My little baby hairs. Okay, these guys, they started out, so I don't know if it's regrowth or it broke, but after I had Hunter, I had all these weird baby hairs. And moms out there, I feel like you can probably agree with me. It is the weirdest thing. Your hair does weird things when you're pregnant. Okay. So I'm just going to do that. Okay. And then... The hair spray um, for a show. I will use this big sexy hair. This stuff is gold. It is not that expensive. It lasts a long time. And when you put this in your hair, it means business. But for today, since I'm going to be home, I'm going to use um, my Refinish Control Hairspray by Monate. And you guys, I don't sell this. Um, I probably should because I think I'd get a discount on it um, because I use all their stuff. Um, but if you want it, I have friends that do. And so I can send you all their information. But this is my, um, this is kind of how I do my hair. So I will just spray a little bit here. A little bit underneath. And then voila! big Texas hair and obviously we can get it even bigger than this if we really wanted but for the sake of time and the fact that this is just going to be more of an everyday look this is my hair hope you like this video I'll try to do more of these um, if you guys like them but let's be real I really don't have a whole lot of different hairstyles it's like this or maybe half of half down um, or a fishtail braid but anyways thanks for watching